In this video, you're going to learn how to get your Facebook Business Manager account verified. So even if the option isn't available to you, so it might be grayed out at the moment, I'll show you how to fix that and then go step by step through the verification process. All that I ask is if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're a course creator, coach, consultant, or you own a membership site and you want the best information on Facebook advertising and digital marketing, make sure you also hit that subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video. So let's just jump straight in. We'll go over to the business manager and start the process. All right, so once you're in the Facebook business manager, make sure you've got the business manager account selected that you want to get verified and then click business settings. That's going to open the business settings screen for you. It should look something like this. And the first thing you want to do is over on the left, scroll down and go to business info. Now this business manager account for me is one that I don't use. It's a demo one. So I don't have all of these details filled in, but you should definitely have all of these business details filled in as much as you can. So you want to click that edit button and complete that if you haven't already. But down to the business verification section, we can see here we've got business verification status. This one says unverified. If I click view details, then you can see here I've got business verification and it's grayed out. So the first thing we want to do is fix that. To do that, we're going to go up here, we're going to open a new window and we're going to go to developers.facebook.com. What we're going to do here is create a new app. So we want to click my apps up in the top right corner. And then from here, you want to click add a new app. Now you've got a few different options here, manage business integrations, integrate a third party gaming app or everything else. Just click manage business integrations. Now at the top, you give this a name. I'm going to skip that just for a second and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select my business account. So I'm going to choose Andrew Hubbard's business for my business manager account that I want to get verified. Make sure you do that. And then here I'm going to select for yourself or your own business. Now the app display name back up to that. I'm just going to call this Facebook login and you'll see why in just a second. So I'm going to click create app ID. Uh, can't have Facebook in the name. There you go. I'll just call it example login. Really doesn't matter what you call it. Click create app ID. It asks me for a quick uh, recapture uh, verification security check. I'll click submit on that. And then it's going to ask me to add products to my app. Now, I just choose Facebook login here. That's why I was calling it Facebook login. But you can really choose this or Instagram graph API. It doesn't really matter. So choose Facebook login and click set up. And once you've done that, you can just click web that's about all you need to do. You can actually skip the next steps. If you click dashboard now over on the left, you've got your example login app. Now what I'm going to do, I've got my app set up. I'm going to go back over to business settings and I'm going to click refresh. As you can see, all of a sudden, boom, the business manager verification, start verification button is now available for me to click within this business manager's settings. So I'm going to click start verification. I'm going to enter the legal name of the business, fill in the country, all of those things, complete all of the details and simply go through that process end to end. So what it's going to do then is it's going to look up your local database. It's connected to different government uh, databases. I think this actually goes through Dun and Bradstreet where I am and um, finds the business and it says, hey, here's the details we've got on record. Are they correct? If they're correct, you can simply click that and click next. Then on the next screen, confirm the business details and click next. Then it's going to get you to select a verification method. For me, because obviously where I am, um, the only option available is for me to click continue and get guided through steps to upload supporting documents. So I'm assuming that in the US and probably some other countries, there are other verification methods available. For me, for whatever reason, it's only giving me the option to upload documents, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so from here I'm going to click continue, and it's going to ask me to verify my business legal name. So what I need to do here is upload a document that provides a verification of the business name registration. So for me, it would be my certificate of formation or incorporation, so I'd go ahead and upload that. Then I'd click next then it's going to ask me to verify the business address or phone number. So that's where I have to upload a different document now to verify the business current address. I'll do that, click next, and go through those few steps to verify the business. That's literally all you need to do. Once you follow those steps, wait a couple of days, 
could be longer, but you simply wait. Facebook will verify those details and once they can confirm all of that, you will have a verified business manager account. And that really is all there is to getting your business manager account verified. As long as you can provide those documents that Facebook needs or go through whichever verification method you choose, and get those all certified and signed off by Facebook, you'll be all done and good to go. So if you found this video helpful, please just give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot and helps the channel. And if you wanna get notified whenever I release a new video or go live, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell, and you'll get a notification whenever that happens. All right, thanks for watching, appreciate your time, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.